I truly am lost for words right now, bro. I do not know how to describe the story. I got no clue on how to go about it other than to drop this meme Bruh. in the beginning because <laughs> this is blowing up right now. If IGN designs Stellar Blade, there is another controversy, another meltdown happening, guys. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are three, four, five, ten billion genders out there. But real quick, I also want to talk about this as well because a lot of people are actually like adding me in this situation situation on Twitter and I understand that most of you are probably in the US like more than half of my audience is in the US kind of makes sense right because that's my that's my people that's uh, that's you guys right and this story is absolutely bonkers man we have seen the wokies destroy hollywood and now it, all of this crap is coming in the video games as well and gamers had enough people in general had enough but today was different kind of low report not only has the president biden declared easter sunday 2024 as trans day of visibility but he's banning religious themed easter egg designs at the easter egg roll event this is absolutely pathetic they, they are promoting filth on a religious day listen i'm not even christian right I, I, i'm muslim right and, and like all of this crap is it, just absolutely insane like i feel for my christian homies out there elon must respond and elon Musk has been responding to woke news about like games as well right truly insane so they are promoting this crap on easter on easter right you cannot make this up apparently in the world of video games so ign calls stellar blade doll and says the creator has never seen a living woman the the not real doll the creator's wife and te <laughs> team artist and you can see this is a real woman right and apparently this is uh, the actual actress that they use uh to model the the stellar blade uh, character from and apparently ign do not like it IGN says that it's not new and other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters But where a uh, Bayonetta Bayonetta stands out with an iconic character design or a 2B from Nair Automa inspires an entire generation of cosplayers Eve from Stellar Blade is just bland a doll by someone who has never seen a woman. I mean, yeah, bro like this is uh, what they <laughs> This is what they want. Strong, empowering, fearless, stunning, brave. And they want to inspire people to eat McDonald's on a daily basis. They, they want to inspire people to never exercise. Check this video out. Roll it. The problem is that we have too many betas and not enough beta testers around. Hit the like. I, I mean, let's be real, right? Like, if gamers can beta test the games for free, then <laughs> why hire beta testers? But, um, because the blue-haired poison toads with rings in their noses are trying to argue against the economics of the world's oldest profession and for some reason i don't think that's gonna work because welcome to freedom and capitalism and when it comes to video games we all know that jiggle physics adds just another layer to the tapestry of what is supposed to be a great video game you can yeah, call yeah, this yeah. sweet baby ink not detected <laughs> because stellar blade is for yeah. adults who like yeah, playing yeah, video yeah. games with one hand if you catch my drift which leaves the left leftist ones out unless anyone can find me a mature leftist because hey, when yo. feminists are calling boycotts for a video game it's actually a seal of approval that means yeah. the game is a must buy and i Yay. know can you believe yeah, if they hate it like if ijin comes out and said that yeah bro like it's it's bad you know we don't like it it's just not not that strong not that empowering not stunning not brave not <laughs> not brave not brave then obviously that's that that's uh, that, 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 that means that the game is actually good if a game where a woman actually looks like a woman woman and yep. not like the ghoul like person that was a meme online i mean that is enough to trigger people wow what a discovery the average gamer wants a female protagonist that doesn't look like a truck driver for a change but that is Man. kind of the point they want the modern beauty standard to look like mary jane from spider-man 2 yep. because yep. attractive yep. women are not they gave her testosterone i do not i don't understand why bro not every video game character need like a testosterone shot or i should say that not every female video game character need a testosterone shot looks like that she had taco bell bruh like what the hell she have yeah, been taco bell bro what why not inspire the youth though exercising is good for you it really is drinking water is good eating healthy is good and and, and not every game having walk in it is also good for you not every game need that walk crap and filth in there bruh just make games for the gamers 
make games for the gamers and right now a lot of the gamers are loving the game uh, i i wonder why allowed in video games because they're terrified of something like stellar blade if it's a massive success they can't just pass it off as an anomaly these publishers will finally have to rediscover things that actually work get a hot chick in your game and you will make money gee yeah. you would have yeah. thunk that making a game that actually delivers on entertainment rather than wokeness would be a winner bread, i wonder bread, how bread, long bread. it will take them to figure bread. that out because the way things are going triple a games will never try to make these kind of characters they would rather choose to go bankrupt instead just that's like different kind of stupid right like we talked about it as well it's like holy crap though you have why do you wanna waste resources manpower money your entire game budget making a game and all the uh, and why you want to waste that time making a game not for gamers why and why you then want to you know waste money on dei sbi sweet baby inc and hire them consult you and then it's like you waste money on hiring sbi and then nobody want to buy your game so then you waste all the resources and all the money that you have put into making the game that's different kind of stupid and it's like you have wasted all the money and all the time making a game that your community and your players are not liking it and then y'all suckers have to shut down your your studio why why do it you know your target audience and listen okay if you want to have strong independent they then in a game or two yeah okay have have a game for them but do not like change genders like how many times were we recently had a, like a pokemon character a female character that was perfectly fine but they just made uh, her into a brother Bruh. into a they them so they're changing past characters that were that were perfectly fine that people had no problem with they're changing into like different and they're changing their preferences as well and changing their pronouns and changing their entire gender as well why do it why and you then have to shut down your studio and go bankrupt after why waste that much money that's different kind of stupid bro look at the suicide squad game that complete and utter diabolical critical failure was imbued with politics and just downright disrespect for when i first saw the trailer i was low-key high for the game yeah you know what i mean and when we first saw the trailer i believe it was back in 2021 i know it was cgi it was cautiously optimistic but then when we saw the gameplay it's like mm, nah 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 and then we started seeing more and it's like and now we're clearly seeing what happened so it's target audience and it completely bombed it's crazy to think an entire industry hates its customers but here we are aren't you just happy now i just read one Wait of the for it. dumbest and most embarrassingly cringe criticisms from oh, none other man. than ign oh, the ignorant oh, gamers network the one place on the internet known for such its incredible incredible journalism in Bruh. their review for stellar blade they said it's not new and other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters but where bayonet stands out with an iconic character design or 2b from near automata inspires an entire generation of cosplayers e from stellar blade is just bland a yeah, doll bland. sexualized <laughs> by someone who's never seen a oh, woman right. how can bayonet R and 2b be okay for being sexualized but eve isn't that makes zero sense. I tell you what, these soy boys and feminists can be so exhausting sometimes. The clothing is questionable, but it's like, damn, homie. Like, what, do you want to see this? Or do you want to see this, right? I will go with this. Make women, woman again. Simple as that. Follow their own criteria. Imagine being a baguette-eating French frog from France and saying, it's a big issue to have pretty women in this game. Wow, yeah. that is the definition of first world problems. It looks like Crazy IGN times, might be Crazy too times. upset about Stella Blade that they can't even see their own hypocrisy. Maybe, just maybe, they should focus. And, and like, right here, the clothing is kind of odd, though, you know I'm saying like you know like, yeah even i got the clothing kind of on a fair review instead you know it's stuff like this that just cements my theory that social media is the modern equivalent of a pandora's box now that we've opened it there is no way to shut off the stupidity from the clout pipeline and by the mm. way can i just say it's empowering Dang. for women to take off their clothes on only fans but it's yeah. misogynistic for imaginary video yeah. game characters to be scantily clad yeah. Maybe 
make that make sense. Yeah, I'm 100% against like OnlyFans, right? It's haram, it's morally and objectively wrong, it's morally and objectively bad for the youth, and it, it's like, bruh, your mama carried you, right? Like, most of you watching probably are not gonna do that, so this is not directed at you, but like, imagine somebody that's like paying for OnlyFans, right? Like, could you imagine your mama carried you for nine months only to see you grow up one day and waste your money on an OnlyFans check <laughs> that you don't even know. Duh, that's different kind of stupid. So I'm obviously against uh, OnlyFans. And yeah, like the clothes are kind of revealing too. I, I get that. But it's like, I would understand if I didn't were to criticize that part, I would be like, okay, yeah, fair point, fair point. But, but, but gamers love it <laughs> people love it i rather this than all that woke twigness that's going around I, i'm losing words right now i'm lost for words right now bro stella blade has a good interesting protagonist check yeah. it has jiggle physics and a lot check. of cake physics too check zero censorship check, check. fun gameplay check. check addictive combat check, check. and no paywall dlc bull and no political gender check check and one thing is for sure, this is definitely not coming out on Xbox because Phil Spencer doesn't want beautiful ladies on the Xbox platform. And if the woke is bitching, then I'm buying too bad and- Ah! That, that is crazy, right? Because Phil Spencer just, uh, yeah. This, click on this video on the screen, guys. Xbox has went fully woke. Click on this video and you will see what, what just went down. And I'll see you right there.